नमस्ते ऑर्गेजमिक ब्रीदिंग विद द स्वतंत्र क्रिया ऑर्गेजमिक ब्रीदिंग इज एक्चुअली वेरी वेरी इजी टू लर्न एंड व्हेन वन लर्न्स इट सिंपली बाय ब्रीदिंग इन सर्टेन वेज वन कैन मूव इनटू अ स्टेट ऑफ अमेजिंग प्लेजेंटनेस इट्स नॉट लाइक अ पीक ऑर्गेजम where there is a release an ejaculation for example and so on but it's more like a, a high level valley orgasm that means that pleasantness is there you experience that pleasantness for extended periods of time to reach the stage where you can experience uh, orgasmic breathing almost at will and you can do it like 10 times 50 times in a day there is no bar uh which is where it scores over uh, other practices now in orgasmic breathing with the swatantra kriya first your energy body your nadis need to be cleansed 72000 nadis takes a little while to clean but we work by working on the sushumna by cleansing the sushumna and in a sense the techniques that we learn in swatantra kriya help to use the sushumna like a like a vacuum cleaner so by breathing in certain ways channeling breath up the sushumna we draw out uh, stuff from the different nadis and cleanse them once the nadis are cleansed the body is in a position to be a little more receptive to energy so that the flow of energy is possible in all different parts of the body see blockages are what impede our experiences in the body and create illnesses and so on but when these blockages are clear with the power of breath it becomes easy for the body to be in a state of wellness good health and so on so once the cleansing happens and uh, the next step is of course rebuilding or recharging the kundalini i made a separate video on that you can take a look Uh, recharging the kundalini is important because unless there is enough energy available in the body how can you how can you achieve uh, whatever you wish to achieve now see the the energy the store of energy in the human body is uh, is like a fuel if you can if you can call it that i mean it's like a the the seminal fluid is a large store of that uh, energy now there are many who believe that seminal fluid if it stays in the body it can cause uh, uh, all kinds of adverse uh, reactions and so on maybe it, it does happen to some people i don't know but it doesn't happen to yogis because yogis know techniques to channel this energy up the spine it could create problems if it stays stuck in the wrong places and if it is not uh, able to continuously move but a yogi does not keep this energy stagnant he keeps this energy moving so when he keeps this energy moving it cannot it cannot create uh, adverse conditions or reactions in the body so without without uh, uh, basically going into a confrontation with established medical uh, views etc uh, fact remains that there are yogic practices and they do yield fantastic results so when we do this cleansing uh, rebuild this energy then the energy becomes available to channel as we like and as we work our breath as we just use the power of breath to move in the body in a certain way beautiful experience of uh, ananda bliss ecstasy pleasantness joy it starts coming into the experience can you imagine uh, someone who goes through life feeling low depressed you know uh, not energetic at all depleted in so many ways simply by doing a little bit of these practices if he's able to totally transform his life go through a day in a sense of joyousness it doesn't matter what external conditions may be the external conditions always change but if you can do something with your inner self if you can create conditions inside there is no reason why you cannot feel extended periods of pleasantness and when you learn the orgasmic breath it comes to you very easily 
a few breaths, a few rotations of the breath, and you start going into that state of ananda, that state of blissful, the state of joy. It's very pleasant, it's very beautiful, and it's very, very empowering. Also, when you are in that, uh, it helps you to heal many, many different conditions, many different conditions. After 40 years of smoking uh, and 20 years of smoking heavily, today I'm much older, but I'm on zero medication. Nothing, no medication at all, despite living such an unhealthy lifestyle because the power of breath. But you have to dive deeper and uh, you can reach the state of uh, stage of orgasmic breathing once you've done the cleansing and rebuilt your Kundalini if it is depleted. If it is not depleted, you can dive in sooner. Connect and if you like, join one of these programs and take advantage. Orgasmic breathing for pleasantness, joyfulness, blissfulness all day long. Namaste.